Okay, let's have a look at the EQ controls. Um, on the Behringer X-Touch, I have switched the encoder assigned to EQ. And uh, on the screen of Cubase, you can also see the four band EQs on all channels. And currently I have selected the third track of this project, either by selecting or by just touching the fader, you can select the channels. Okay, so let's stick with the third channel, which is bass, called bass, you can see it on the screen as well. And currently all four bands are activated. And uh, now let's see what we can do. Here in the eight encoders we have are split into two for each band. So EQ frequency gain, EQ2 frequency gain, and so on. So we can change, for example, the frequency. You can see it on the screen, how you change the frequency. It's pretty easy to see. And then we just change the gain. I think you can easily see that. And the same here for the second one, third one. And once you stop turning the encoder knobs, it will switch back to the description what you are actually um, changing. Of course, we can use this name value display uh, button again to switch it to show the values all the time, if you prefer this. But let me switch back. Because what I want to show you now is I can press this encoder to go to a secondary function, which would be the Q factor for EQ band number one. And here I can change the EQ Q factor. Okay. Or I switch back and I can control the frequency. The second encoder for the first band of my EQ. When I press this button, I will not get any visual feedback here, but I switch on off the EQ band. So you can see on the Cubase screen, it will be grayed out. But there is no visual feedback here, so you don't actually know what you do unless you just know it. <laughs> okay. Um, Again, on the EQ, there is also a flip function. So if I press this, I will have control over these parameters on my faders. So for example, here I can change the frequency. I can change the gain. Second band, frequency, and gain, and so on. But as far as I know, I cannot switch this to adjust the Q factor, for example. So this is only available if I have the encoders active and I press it so I can change it. If I have the flip mode of the EQ and I press here, we enable the preview of the eight tracks that are in this layer right now, the bank. Okay, so that's a little bit confusing. But if we use the regular mode with the encoders, not with the faders, we have access to all four parameters or three parameters and the on-off. Yeah, that's basically all I can tell you about the EQ remote control using the X-Touch with Cubase 8 Pro. Thanks for watching.